Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in and coming back and watching. I appreciate it. And this is going to be sort of a, um, a a newscast, I guess, for lack of a better word. So you've probably seen the announcement. Skyloom has announced, or pre-announced, I should say, Luminar 4, which is supposed to come sometime later this fall. I don't have a date. I do not have a copy of the product, so I have not used this. But I want to talk to you about the killer feature that they're talking about, which is AI sky replacement. So AI being artificial intelligence, sky replacement being put a new sky in your photo. So um, if you haven't seen my videos, I've done several videos in the past where I replace the sky in Luminar. And, um, you know, sometimes it works really well, and other times it can be a little challenging because of the masking. But now they've used machine learning and artificial intelligence to create this filter that will do it for you automagically, as they say, right? So um, I'm excited about this. I thought I'd walk through some sample images that they sent. Again, I haven't seen the product. I have no idea how it works. Um, but believe me, when I get it, you're going to find out. Um, they're also offering some pre-order specials where you can pre-order Luminar 4 with a Signature Looks bundle for $59. And you can also pre-order a bundle that's Luminar 3, so you get the current version, plus Luminar 4, plus the Signature Looks for $99. Check my notes. Yeah. Um, and with that one, the bundle for $99 that includes Luminar 3 and Luminar 4, you can use my coupon code GYMNIX to save $10. The coupon code does not apply to the Luminar 4 Plus Looks bundle for 59. It's 59, which frankly is a really reasonable price. Um, I'll put a link down below. Please note that is an affiliate link, which means I make a small commission if you purchase something that helps support me and um, I provide you guys with all this free training. So it's super helpful to me and I appreciate it. So um, what does this filter do? Well, it automatically detects the sky in your image and other objects in the scene and allows you to replace it automatically. So you can take vacation photos that maybe didn't turn out that great and put a new sky in it. Um, they're saying that it removes things like halos and other artifacts, which I find really interesting. Um, but then it also, you know, um, it also adjusts the sky to, to really fit in with the rest of the image. Um, and on top of that, they're saying that they're including something called Scene Relight technology, which basically will adjust the tone, exposure, and color of the combined image so that it looks like the new sky actually fits in with the image that you have. I don't know how they do all this, um, but I mean, just that blending of trying to get the colors and tones and all that to look uh, like they belong together is something I do every time I replace the sky because I'll put a a new sky in, and then I'll add a new adjustment layer in Luminar and go in and then start using, you know, tones and color enhancements to make sure I'm blending them together to kind of sell it, if you will. In other words, to make it look realistic. Well, apparently that's going to be done pretty automatically. Um, I'm excited about this. I haven't seen the product. Can't tell you what it's like, but I can show you some simple um, images that they included. I'm going to take my notes out of the way. Um, so. Let's take a look at this screen. Uh, you can see here they've got um, these kind of graphics, and these are just graphics that they sent everybody. So you'll see these in use. You can see all these different examples. I'm gonna kind of scroll through some of that. They're showing off kind of some of the things that you can do here, but they've also got these sample images. So I'm gonna just kind of zoom in, and we're gonna take a look here because I think it's really interesting to see how well does this handle a difficult horizon because that's the challenge with um, Luminar not having a smart brush or edgeware brush is you've got to be really super careful. But if you look at that, I mean, that new sky uh, seems to go pretty well all the way around that horizon, which I think is awesome. So um, here's another. We're just going to zoom in and take a look. Same sort of thing. And hey, did you notice? Let me back out and then back up. Warmer, more golden tones. Um, a little bit bluer tones in that one, right? So you, this is the scene relight, I think, in action. A little bit um, cooler tones and a little bit more of a tint of that kind of pinkish sunset look uh, compared to the one prior, right? Where it's a little bit more golden. So again, these are not my images. Um, they were sent to me by Skyloom and I've not seen the filter or anything about Luminar 4. I don't know when it's coming out, so please don't ask. I literally have no idea. Um, but I'm, I'm making the assumption here that these images were just using that filter and this is this uh, scene relight at work. Notice there's a helicopter there. Um, so that was in this sky replacement, which is fine. I don't care. It makes sense a helicopter would be flying over New York. Um, there's another one. I'm going to scroll through. There's quite a few here and you can kind of see how the tones vary. That may be the original because 
that would be this guy you'd want to replace, I assume, right? So um, I'm gonna use this one as an example. Let's dive in a little closer. Um, and now this was shot with, um, you know, uh, like a fairly uh, wide open aperture. So in other words, all these things in the distance are kind of blurred, but I'm looking around and I'm just checking out how well, uh, there's a spot in the, a couple spots, um, sorry, getting picky. Um, but how well does it blend on these edges? And I see all these little dots on this railing, but that might just be, um, you know, rust spots or something that were uh, was already there. Uh, if you look around here at his pants, uh, there's a, it looks like it may be picking up a little bit of color from the sky, maybe there too, and maybe even a little bit of clouds. I can't tell. Again, not my image, but again, if you're just having one filter and it's replacing the sky and taking care of the um, intricacies, which is probably why they use this photo as an example, uh, it seems to be doing a pretty incredible job because let's face it, I mean, if you're a uh, if you're creating really high-end fine art prints, you're probably going to want to do this kind of stuff manually in Photoshop or somewhere else. But a lot of us, including myself, I do things for the art of it and for the fun of it. And there's a lot of people that just take vacation photos that want to make them look better. This might be something that you can really take advantage of. Um, here we go again. A little bit of golden around the jeans. That might just be the light, the scene relight reflecting on him. Again, I have no idea. Not my photo, but I'm looking at the edges and trying to figure out how well does it blend? And I gotta say the answer to me visually is uh, so far is pretty well. There's another one, another one. Um, I'm gonna just keep moving on. This one, a little bit bluer tone. So that scene relight in action, as far as I know, again, not my photos. I haven't used it, so I'm not sure. This one kind of picked up some of the uh, purpler uh, kind of, you know, using that kind of magenta tint on the tint slider uh, to match the uh, the sky. But I mean, you know, it looks like this is uh, kind of blended in really well. I mean, if you're looking at the edges here, that's really smooth and that's hard to do in Luminar uh, unless you have just the exact perfect sky uh, to do a, a replacement. And uh, anyway, I talked about that in one of my sky replacement videos. Again, a little bit of a lighter color hitting his jeans, but it could just be um, that it's picking up the light from the scene. So I'm not trying to pick, I'm just trying to show you what it's doing, and here it is again. Um, this is just a good example because there's so many little edges. Um, it looks like the this might be some kind of radio tower and maybe there's some uh, you know metal pieces connecting the towers. It, I don't know how it looked in the original photo, but you know the sky's kind of bleeding through there, but again, don't really care. I don't know that um, that's gonna be noticeable because most photos are gonna be seen like that. This is a good one. Um, let's dive into this one. I'm just trying to show you guys. I hope you don't mind. It's kind of weird. This is the first time I've really ever, not first, yeah, first time I've ever done a video where I'm looking at other people's photos and kind of, I don't want to say critiquing, but I'm investigating. Um, here we go. So, you know, you zoom into this, uh, this stuff out here and you see like, looks like three figures and maybe that's a figure as well. Um, I'm guessing they're somewhere in like uh, Dubai or something. Uh, anyway, beautiful sunset. Pay attention to this light under the um, four-wheeler and the colors here. Fairly warm tones uh, and kind of golden, right? And again, golden tones, um, I think all that fits. And a little bit softer light and color based on the sky. So again, if that's a um, function of the scene relight, I think it's doing a pretty good job. Um, there's that helicopter again, so you, they're using that sky, I think, a few times, which is fine. You know, these are examples. Um, looking over here, there seems to be a little bit of a shadow. I don't know what it is. Again, not my photo, but, you know, I'm looking at this stuff on the horizon because that's always the hard part to mask, um, and that's where you got to be most careful. Here's what I wanted to point out. Let me go back one. Golden light streaming in. You would expect it to be golden underneath this thing, and in the next image, golden light not streaming in, still golden light and shadow showing. Um, and it looks like the shadow is hitting from one or the, uh, one side or the other, but the sun's behind him. And uh, it's still pretty warm underneath. So um, to me, not a perfect use of, um, of, of a blend because I kind of wonder, why is it golden under there? Like it wouldn't look like that. I would think it would look like something like over here. Again, I'm nitpicking, but if you look at how the photo blended, uh, like around him, I mean, gosh, you know, it seems to have done an incredible job. Um, I mean, I just, and a cool photo, by the way, golly, I mean, I love that photo. Um, so again, I don't want to pick on it. Um, there, I think the gold tones under there look fine because of that sky. 
and I think that's a beautiful photo. I think the truck looks good. I don't really see as much of that um, shadow over there. There it is again, a little bit something I'm picking up. Again, I'm being very picky. Um, let me go, uh, here we go, golden and golden underneath. I, I, you could sell that, right? And I think that works. And I like how the sky is kind of blending in with the photos. Um, that's probably the original uh, because that would be the one you want to um, replace. Okay, this guy. I'm going to try to hurry through this a little bit here. Um, I think a great job. I mean, look at his hair. I mean, you know, you can maybe pick out a little bit of stuff, but it says, whoops, um, where'd it go? Here we go. I'll go into this one. I hit, I meant to hit zoom. I mean, look at his hair. If that automatically went around his hair like that with this filter, I mean, that's mind blowing. Um, now, I do want to dive in over here and look at these buildings um, because that's a crooked horizon or, you know, an, an unnatural horizon. And that's the stuff that's hard to do. So we're going to go look at that again. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, maybe brighter light coming around his head. I, it's hard to tell. Buildings look pretty good, to be honest. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, okay, you know, not my sky, not really. Okay, so here's an interesting one. Uh, I'm gonna go in here again. I mean, honestly, it looks pretty good around his hair. Over here, I mean, you know, we're really grainy because it's probably a small JPEG. And uh, of course, um, it's just, a you know, a, uh, it's way off in the distance. So it's not a focal point, but overall, I mean, looks pretty good. So that's probably the original sky. Okay, here's this one. This is always a trick with sky replacements and that is what do you do with the sky behind those trees? And I'll admit, it's not something I spend a lot of time working on because that kind of photo takes so much work and I'm not that interested in replacing a sky that I want to spend a whole lot of time on it. Could I do it? I don't know. I don't think I could do it in, in the old version of Luminar unless I had uh, a really, really bright blue sky. And if I use the trick that I'll put in that video, um, it'd probably work. But outside of that, it's not worth my time. So um, look at all these different skies. And look at the um, behind the you know behind the scene and not behind the scenes uh, behind the trees. I mean, again, this is just like the guy's hair in the last photo. I mean, wow, that just looks um, pretty amazing. So same thing there, same thing there. This one's a bit bluer, um, but I mean, look at that blue sky coming through. It seems to have blended pretty well. So uh, here we go, orange sky coming through. Beautiful sunset photo. Uh, I wonder if this is the one with the helicopter. Um, just playing. Um, Wow, I mean, if you look at the uh, the little tower, this is the Grand Canyon. I've stood uh, real close to this and, and shot as well. It's a lovely spot. And now I'm thinking, ooh, I'm gonna go replace my sky. Um, but I mean, it looks pretty amazing behind that tree and, and the way it blends with the walls of the canyons. You know, this is kind of the scene relight stuff that I assume is uh, being displayed uh, here for matching up the tones because blue, right? And then back to the one we were just on, orange. I mean, it's, I think, done a great job. Different color sky, you know, cloudy sky. That was probably the original. And then here's some more, right? I'm just going to dive in uh, simply because I want to show you the horizon. Again, wow. I mean, if this is the, uh, if AI sky replacement did all this horizon stuff, um, color me impressed. I mean, that's that's be it's a beautiful photo anyway, but I mean, golly. So you can see multiple versions of it. I'm not gonna bore you by going into all of them, but um, I think that was it, really. I'm gonna end on a prettier one. Where's that? Yeah, ooh, oh, hang on. Uh, that one or that one? That's good, that one. Anyway, I'm really done. Um, it looks really cool. I haven't seen it, I haven't used it. I will definitely put a video or 53 out um, when the time comes. And I don't know when Luminar 4 is coming, but you can check the link down below for more information. And um, I hope you find it interesting. And thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them. But again, haven't seen the product, haven't used the filter, all that stuff. So um, this is as new to me as it is to you. Thanks for watching, my friends. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on this sometime in the fall, whenever that is. But boy, let me tell you, you are gonna see some sky replacement videos when I get my hands on this stuff. Thanks for watching, my friends. Have a great day. I'll see you soon, and adios.